What's up boys, it's Nate Dog Mac. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about how I made coins in the last 24 hours using a very simple thing of just noticing trends on the market. Every day for the past two days, these couple cards, a lot of cards in fact, have been making this kind of trend of being more expensive in the day, early morning, and then at night when there are less transfers overall, they get a lot lot cheaper so we're looking at 686,000 live transfers right now and last night um, when the market was lower down during the nighttime of the UK nighttime here in the NA it was down to like 200,000 um, and that causes prices to drop and there's less cards on the market less people are on the game and cards aren't really selling so this Jorginho card I was able to snipe for 7800 coins and I bought another one at 8k and I sold it last night as well um, I just cleared it out for my transfer list but this morning he went up to 9600 which I sold him for at this point and he also went above 10k at one point as well so um, what you can kind of do with these cards is just monitor them for a day or so and then um, you'll be able to kind of react when when you see their price go down low and you know it's going to go up for the next day in the morning you can kind of see that and react and uh and make some money that way lingard got him for 8k um and i sold him for 11,000. that was a big money maker gelson martins i got for right around 2k sold for 2.8 2.9 um, and then callum wilson was one who i bought a lot of sold him uh, for four and a half k most of them looks like um but i bought them all for under um, 4,000 coins a lot of them for like 35 or less last night he did get pretty cheap uh, and then did the same one with an Alessandrini as well I was able to snipe a Fred today which was very nice so I'm gonna keep him in the club but this is something that you guys can very easily do I'm gonna clear them now since they're gone but um, if we go the markets really busy right now it's the middle of the day uh, Premier League games are going on if we go on here though and look at some of these guys that I was just talking about, I can show you their prices now. So Lingard I sold for 11k this morning. Um, right now I think he is a little bit less than that. But um, last night he was down to like 9k. So when you see this card go down to 9k tonight, when I see this card go down to 9k, I'm gonna be snatching it. And it's not just with these cards either. Either, um, I mean you can watch cards like Tony Cruz, who's uh, one of my investments. He's been going up today. He's right around upper 50k, almost 60k now. So, um, but during the nighttime, he sometimes can dip into the 40s. So if you pick one up for in the 40s, you might be able to sell it for 60k the next day. Um, and also today, Mares scored two goals. So his price went from like 30k up to 60k so fast, which is incredible incredibly crazy how much hype there is around this card especially with him possibly getting a ones to watch so today all the guys that are scoring goals their their cards are going nuts so the spurs game is about to start now so i'm going to be watching the market during those games as well but i just kind of wanted to show you guys how you can watch the trends like that um you might have seen the people post on twitter about it but like callum wilson right now that's Callahone. but callum wilson right now is just chilling it right around 4,000 coins probably a little higher now so he's still going for like 4,500 coins which is a little bit less than what I sold him at but tonight when he drops down like 37 3,800 coins I'll probably pick up a bunch try to pick up one player maybe in the 20k range and then I'll try to get a bunch of uh, uh, a couple Lingards maybe a Jorginho um, and um, of course Callan Wilson because I know those guys are working for me there's a lot of guys out there so my advice would be stick to the Prem because the, everybody likes the Prem, and the, that's the most popular league. So that league has the hype around it, so stick to a Prem player, but find yourself a Prem player, watch their price for the next 24 hours, and kind of do the same thing that I did. Once Jorginho gets down to low 8K, maybe if he dips under 8K, I'll be buying him up and selling him tomorrow. Um, one thing that I do want to talk about, though, is um, I want to see how the market reacts to squad battle rewards. It should uh, lower the prices of some of the very cheap cards and maybe increase the prices of middle tier to higher tier cards as people get more coins from those packs and the lower rated cards get packed more. So um, somebody who is inflated like a Rashford so who's 81 rated, um, he is very high, but there's also some demand for him so he m might not be the best example. It's like right now he's over 30k squad battle rewards he could he could dip down a little bit but I, I think he could go right back up too because people like this card people say this card's really good 
and um, and they want to use it. Even though he's 81 rated, he will get packed some. So that's just one thing to watch as you guys are trading. But let me know how you guys are doing. Drop down below in the comments how many coins you guys have made so far. Um, I've been able to amass a pretty decent coin balance, I think. I'm definitely over 200,000 coins now with everything that's in my club, uh, with my main squad that I have kind of invested in and I'm kind of playing with. But for right now, I'm not going to invest anymore. I'm just going to be grinding. I want to get to about 500k of total club value at the end of this weekend. So today and tomorrow, I do plan on going pretty hard, making some killer investments and making some big time money. Um, video on Team of the Week 2 probably going to be coming out here very soon. I want to talk to you guys about that because that's going to be very important for investing and, and uh, card prices as well. But boys, thanks for watching the video. It's been your boy, Nate Dog Mac. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.